Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to... I have no idea how loud this is, so let me lower that a little bit to 30. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some Minish Cap. So, when it comes to this series, this... I Like I said, and to those who are listening in the chat, um, this is technically the... Fr this isn't the first game I ever beat, necessarily. This is the first game I ever... I got really far into. And as I was saying earlier, um, I... <laughs> As a stupid little kid, I pretty much gave up after... I think I got up to, like, Hyrule Castle, and I was just like, this game fucking blows. Because I just kept getting my fucking ass kicked. So I was just like, you know what? I'm done. Screw it. Uh, I've been in... Over the time, I have been in this game a couple of times. Though, to tell you the truth, I don't think I ever 100% at this game. Now that we're starting this series, there's a rule I like to follow sometimes where it's... I try to get all the hard pieces, and this game is notoriously a little difficult for when it comes to trying to get those, because you have to, in order to get one of the last hard pieces for this game, you need to, um, you need to essentially 100% this game, so, I don't know if we're gonna do it, this thing, <laughs> I forgot I named my character Kick Kick, how uh, we'll, we'll change it. Oh shit, I didn't even know I could actually change the light off here. Look at that. Alright. Say goodbye to Dick Kick. <laughs> um So as a basic bitch, we're gonna call him Link. Well, that's that's what you do in a Zelda game, you just call him Link. I I am like very nervous on how I sound right now. I'm just gonna mute myself real quick. I sound fine. Alright. I was bitching over nothing. Let us begin the the minish of caps. Let's do this. You know, I always did really like this animation, the sprite in it. I don't know, I always thought it was a cool design. I like that it uses alright, wait, I gotta read this, hold up. <clears throat> Along long time ago when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by the sh by shadow the tiny picori appeared from the sky bringing a the hero of men a sword with a and a golden light with wisdom courage the hero drove out the darkness When peace had been restored, the people enshrined the blade would care. Now, in the Hyrule story, what is this, like, the like fourth game? I, actually, no, I think it's the second game in the timeline. But with the first, of course, being Skyward, Skyward Sword. It's gonna have a fucking aneurysm trying to say that. Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword. Okay, so how the fuck do I want to voice Zelda? Love that, love that Game Boy SP sound. Good morning, ma good morning, Mr. Smith, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda! Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Link? What is this voice? I don't even know what this voice. Well, the town's bustling for the... Picori? Picori? I think it's Picori. Festival. I thought he and I... He and I might... He and I? Is that proper grammar? He and I? Him and I? I don't fucking know. I don't have an English degree. I don't know this shit. I thought he and I... I thought... I can't do it. I'm trying to do Christian, if you can't tell, and it's like failing miserably. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Link was up late helping me last night. 
and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Link, time to get up. You always gotta start every scene, every, every scene game. <laughs> every Zelda game of Link waking up. That's how you know it's gonna be a great adventure. Link, time to get up. Just front flips out of bed. You know, this this Link's cool. This motherfucker front flips out of bed. That's some cool... He doesn't get up. No, he front flips out. He does that from a lane position, too. That's that's even that's even more impressive. Impressive. I can't speak. Help me. I can't speak. Hey, Link. Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you'd join her at the festival. Yeah, Link. Come on, let's go and check out the festival together. Master Smith has already given me permission to take you. Yeah, cause I'm a slave to you. Okay, great. I don't get free will, no! God damn, fuck the monarchy. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. For like two seconds. While you're there, can you do a favor for me? Can you do me a favor? I just finished making that this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Grandpa always has this angry, stern face on him. I like it. Looks cool. He's like an angry. He's like an angry pirate Gandalf. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. Watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Or else you'll have to go on like an hour adventure. Nobody wants that. Master Smith, quit worrying. We'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Link. Let's go. Let's go check out the festival. As I have a stroke trying to read your words. Let's rob our grandfather. Sweet, twenty bucks. Nice. Just gonna take these. Yes, thank you. I respect that. You you pick up a dollar and you still try to put it up to the sky to check it out. That's, that's respectable. Link, over here. I can't. Over here. Hold up. Let me just do some landscaping. Yeah, get some money. Good. Muy bien. Great. Link, hurry. Let's go. We got <laughs> we got to get to Quickville. The the verge is hap the emergence is happening. Link, come on. I think I'm slowly it's slowly coming to me. I'm working on it. Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule. It's like it's like really weird, Mickey. Some I have it and then I lose it. I can do the I'm working on it, but I can't do the fucking the entire thing. God damn. Here we are, Link. Doesn't it look fun? There's gonna be somebody in chat going, Oh my god, Mickey Mouse! It's not. It's not Mickey Mouse. I don't know what it is, but it's not Mickey Mouse. Link, there's a storyteller over here. We should stop and listen to... Oh! What's over there? This is probably what it's like to be to be at a festival with Chris Chan. <laughs> only only it's it's not she's not trying to kiss you constantly. <laughs> that's a that's a low blow. Oh look at that! She's probably talking about fucking my little pony and <laughs> fucking Sonic Chew. <laughs> Say, was there gonna be a wasn't there going to be a fun tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh wow, look over there, it's Mewtwo! We 
we have a winner! Oh my! Is that the voice I want to do again? Eh, why not? We'll just... I'll probably give her the character, that voice to another person, but we'll just keep it. Oh my! Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing! Wow! You get the choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have... This magnificent gem. And finally, there's... This teeny tiny shield. So, which one did you like? Let me guess. The jewel? Oh, but this heart stone is very cute, too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield, the shield is so adorable. I think I'll take it. What? Why? What, what, are you, what are you, stupid? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about this heart-shaped stone? It's cute! Or, 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 or this giant gem, it's pretty! Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope. I want this shield, <laughs> can I have it? <laughs> what a strange princess you are. Well... Okay, here's your teeny tiny shield! You have boobs? I thought you were just a giant big man. I think you're a woman. I, I, I don't know, I can't tell with the pixels. Here, I want you to have this present. I can't even read. Doesn't this shield suit- this, doesn't this shield suit you perfectly, Link? Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It's extreme. It's extremely embarrassing, though. Oh, it's I. I can't read. What is wrong with me? This game has to justify. Like, holy shit, you got a tiny ass shield. What? 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 Are they, gonna, what are they gonna make fun of Link's shield? It's not, it's not the size that matters. It's what you do with it. Counts. Yep, just as I thought. You look. You look great. Now. If anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We 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 have to take the Master Smith sword to the castle. It's not even, it's not even Chris Chan. It's just weird. I don't even know what this voice is now. Hey, Tony. I love how she like gives us distance to roll. Look at look at look at this. <laughs> it's like oh shit, I want to get the, I want to touch that. Ugh. That's rolling dust. Ew, both. Gross, it's peasant dust. Come on, come on, Link. Let's let's try, let's hurry to to the castle. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a fair warning, chat, that I think throughout the series, if I try to speak as Zelda as Chris Chan, I'm gonna have a s I'm gonna s like I'm gonna sound like I'm having a stroke. I'm gonna be really honest with you. Ouch! That must that must be the business scrub I heard the stars is talking about. They were saying that the Deku scrub had been has had been hassling all the passers by. Think, do something about it. Otherwise, we can't get to the castle. Think, if we had some way to defend ourselves against those. <laughs> That's a mist. I like my nut. You're gonna like my nut. There you go. Now let's let's. Just take his deed and take his land. Please forgive me, sir. I've heard that. that... I've heard that there's a festival. Fortunately, I can't think of a damn voice. Jesus. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts at when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything yet because he kept nutting on everybody. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. Did, did we kill him? I actually feel a little sorry for for that business scrub, but that nut. <laughs> You're gonna love my nut. <laughs> oh well, he won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle.
Polrank! You brought me the sword, did you? Now as the minister of the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Patho, accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Link, but I better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Do you hear, Link? Why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Sure. You sound like you're dying. That's a good idea to be keeping that, that sword out where it's fucking Link flashing like that. Do you know about that sword, Link? It's called the Picori Blade. It looks much evilly. It, it locks much evil away. In that chest, I read that as looks. The Picori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the championship competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. It's Big Boris. Let the award ceremony commence. Party champion of the competition. You may approach the blade. This is really the fucking... I, I forgot that that's... That's like the reward you get. You get to touch the blade. <laughs> oh yeah, you're... He has a happy mask salesman. <laughs> to think... That this would be... That this would be... That this... That to think things would be going this well. The Picory Blade and the Bound Chest spoken in Hyrule Lure. This chest must be, must hold with that which I seek. I will relieve you of its contents. Constantly, he just has a. Vati just has wind blowing at him. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I have earned the right to approach the blade. I've been waiting for this moment. God, that seriously though, that really does fucking suck. You just gotta touch the blade. You got, you get a chance to pull it. That's it. Give it a little tug. It's just the king inside hiding in the box. One, give it a little tug. Give it a little tug. Oh, yes, yeah, the evil forces of the fucking blue, of the whatever the fuck that was. Who are you? Oh, this, this is Zelda. Who are you? What are you doing here? Well, it's not. Clarify, it's probably not the viewers wondering. The printed with the mystical Oya. So it's Christian versus a. <laughs> It's Christian versus a weeb. <laughs> the power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of the royal family. Interesting. If I leave you now, you can cause me trouble later. I will never do that. Will never do. To stone with you. Yes, yeah, fucking. Oh, good job, Link. You fucked up. Oh shit, she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> All those who stand in my way shall fit, shall share this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this. It open. <laughs> oh shit! Somebody opened it. What the fuck? MD. It's nothing in the blades. It actually revealed that the king was in there the whole time with his dick out. <laughs> Give the sword. Give the legendary sword and ain't a, a tug. Come on. Do it. Ha. It's nothing in here but rub but a rabble of monsters. What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I am after. 
He's somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I would take my time searching for it. Like, six temples worth of time. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like, I like Weeaboo. I like Weeaboo fucking Vati voice. Do you like to watch Attack on Titans? It's such a cool show. My waifu is Mikasa. I don't even care if she's underage. So, so Link's just on a coma this whole time? Yeah. Oh. Okay, we do wake him up. Look, look at this shit. This dude backflips out of a coma. Or front flips, I should say. Excuse me. Oh, thank goodness, y'all. You've, you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see his, he's come to see his majesty, the king. Men. Oh, Link. You are awake. Are you all right? Are you feeling all right? I'm not doing this voice. Link, are you healthy enough to give me a little tug? Stand, stand at my side. The king of Hyrule is about to. Sh oh, this is uh, this is Grandpa. Stand at my side. The king of Hyrule is about to speak. It is all. Uh, it is as you all heard. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her into stone. If we had the sacred Pakori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. How the fuck are you gonna cur how the fuck are you gonna break somebody from stone with the sword? Beat him with it? But Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Pakori? Cory, not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Hush. The ones from the fairy tales. But the Pecori are no mere legends. They have most certainly existed. No one outside the royal family knows the truth about them. But the Pakori, who forged the second blade, lived deep within the menace woods. I should be able to repair this broken sword and reforge the sword. What? What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No soldiers will do. I must find a ten-year-old boy. I must send him into the woods. With all those monsters. Yes. <laughs> the Pokori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Uh, really? The fuck kind of the fuck kind of Chris Hansen shit is that? Our soldiers could search for days but still find still find no sight of them. I volunteer my my 12-year-old son to, to do this. I see. If that is the case, then why not send Link? I mean, he's only five years old. If Link has recovered, then yes. I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my Princess Zelda back to normal. She's the only one who gives good hand jobs. The Pecori should know how to create the new sacred sword. It will be a danger it will be a dangerous journey. Now that the monsters have been freed. Please take the sword with you. Along with the broken Pecori blade. There's it all. I I I need somebody to give me a good tug right now. But it's been like 80 years. I need it. This is a part of the sword that needs to reforge. Sacred sword. Don't lose it. Ignore the fact that it looks like my penis. You got the Smith sword. It's sharp. It's a sharp blade. 
made by your grandfather. Where's your parents? I don't know. They all died. Probably, probably the plague, the plague or something. That's run rampant here in Hyrule. You, know, you would think we have all magic and shit, but no, fucker, we can't stop the bubonic plague. Deep within the wood, the deep within the minus woods, you will find the place called Deepwood Shrine. Not very creative, but Picoria are pretty fucking stupid. Once humans and higher, once humans and Picoria shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check the map. Just press start and then the L bumper or the right bumper to open up the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. Seriously, you're like literally the only family I have. If you die, that's like it. It's just me and the hammers. And I don't like the way they sound half the time. They do speak to me sometimes, Link. Please come back. I don't want to talk to the hammers. I'm counting on you, Link. All the brick. But it, uh, all the you have brought, brought this curse. And for Zelda. Just turning into fucking Russian Tinky Winky. Oh, it's me! I pop a telephone. I'm gonna pop my pinky in the stinker. Pop it. Pop it, hostile. Maybe that's what I should do for the birthday stream. Just fucking play Teletubbies. You know what kind of does remind me of like Link to the uh, this entrance kind of reminds me of like Link to the Past. Aw, oh, fuck! That's what I should probably play next year. Cause I'm gonna only do game. Cause this year I'm only doing Game Boy games. Fuck. Oh well. Uh, is that this for? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot they do the Link's Awakening thing where it's the the sword and shield are are now like. Uh, are basically ass they're not assigned buttons they're, they're literally items you can equip or de-equip i honestly at first i wasn't a fan of it but at, over time i kind of i kind of grew to enjoy it and stuff i think personally my favorite like version of this is of course the um, what they did in like links uh link between worlds and link to the and the remake that they did for links awakening where they make the sword and the shield their own assigned buttons i think they did the same thing with the um with the Pegasus boots too, like they gave it its own. I think it was like the left bumper or something. And it's 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 a, I, I kind of like that, honestly. But I mean, of course, this is what I, I forgot. I think it was two thousand three. I didn't read the actual like uh, copyright. So I mean, it's 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 fine as is. I mean, it's like it's a fucking Game Boy. It's a fucking Game Boy game on a Zelda. You're not expecting like Link. You're not expecting like fucking Breath of the Wild level quality. Can you imagine? Somebody makes a. I mean, so I think somebody did make like an S E S N E S version of um. No, it's the jackasses from fucking from fucking Ocarina of Time who kept messing with the Gerudo, and also that very very stubborn guy from fucking Majora's Mask who wanted to get himself killed. Majora's Mask is a very depressing game. I love it. Makes me think about sadness and stuff. <laughs> I love it. I love that mole animation when they get hit. They're just like, ah! ah! Yeah, miraculously, the fucking... For some reason, now we just can't go into Hyrule Castle until we get the ba no, it's not too bad. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot they do this. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Can I not go in the fuck? What the fuck? Can I not go through the door? What is happening? Oh well. Let's just get to the forest. I forgot that there were Gorons in this game. 
Yeah, that's like a that's a Zelda race you That's a Zelda race you would expect to co commonly see in the fucking Gorons. And Long Long Ranch too, I for wow. Huh. I mean it has been like I think the last time I played this game was like almost seven years ago. I like uh, had this game on the 3DS and I would put like the when I bought it I would play it fucking religiously and stuff. And I think if I remember it was like uh I don't know if it was an exclusive or it was like I just remember um it was like a it was like an early like fucking copy and stuff. Of not of not this game, but like the there was like some there was like some time like restraint on the three DS, which I always thought was really fucking stupid. I can't think of it right now, I'm trying to remember it. Uh it was like if you got it before December you can you were able to download this game and stuff, but if you got it any time after it's like there were a couple games that you weren't able to buy off the eShop. Which I forgot. Speaking of the eShop, that's actually end for the three DS and the Wii U. That's ending sometime soon. I think I might pick up pick up some games or something to do a little special for it. Cause why not? Maybe some shovelware or something like just bottom of the barrel shit. There's probably there's probably some fucking like now I was gonna say some hentai game or something. <laughs> I will never show that on this channel. Nah. Nah. There's a certain crowd that that might attract them. Like I don't want that on the channel, so no. Cause then it'll just be a whole bunch of it'll just be a whole bunch of dudes going <laughs> play more of a <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I would get I'm pretty sure I would get banned if I try to show on like any nudity or something that's not a first party game. He gets in neck Link just gets in the neck high water and he just drowns. Like, he takes one step off into the deep water, and he just drowns immediately. I love 2D Zelda games that do that. Because you always have to require, like, some fucking, some fucking swimming, some, like, item to help you swim, like the mermaid suit or the uh, flippers from Link's, Link's Awakening. <laughs> yeah, because he just needs, he just needs an item to learn how to swim. It just, it just randomly pops up into his head, he's just like, oh shit, I know how to swim now, look at that. Same thing with jumping for Link. You know, people will say Link's a very cool character. Sometimes Link's a dumbass and he need the guy needs a fucking feather to jump. Of course he does backflips and shit with it, but like still he needs a feather. Oh yeah, I forgot you need um Aslo. I almost said Asla. The fucking Enzo. Enzo. Is it Enzo or Aslo? I we'll see right now. I always forget Enzo's name. Did I really miss him? Help! Help me! Ouch! I somebody stopped them! Ow! Ow! Help me! Somebody! Can anyone hear me? Ooh, art piece. Look at that. Nice. Oh, shit. You know what I was thinking of? Cause I was thinking of the whole um, cause I know in the DS games that if you pick up, they don't have heart pieces, they have pieces, they have heart containers, and I was thinking for some reason, there's heart containers in this game. Oh shit, that means I gotta get a heart piece guide. Fuck. I'm gonna hate. Uh, to new viewers, uh, it's a, it's a challenge we try to do. Excuse me, that was disgusting. Hey kid, you there? Ow. Hey, don't stand there! Do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me watching me take this abuse? Help me! Yes, the most sinister the most sinister creature of all time, Octorox! Whew! Well done! That was close! Not that I couldn't handle my not that I could handle them myself! But that's besides the point. What in the world is a lonely ch is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Yeah, like a five minute walk is deep in the woods. Ho ho! I see. Ah, uh, Picor, you say, and Vati? 
What? He's cursed someone? What? The sacred blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have a lot in, have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break Va the curse of Vati. And you say that reforging the Picori blade can break his curse, eh? Well then, you found yourself a companion, my boy. My name's Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Jeez. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. I can't go any slower. Can't you go any slower? Surely you notice I have no legs. How are you able to hop? What? Like, are you, like, moving your head up and down? I don't, I don't fucking know. Boy! Take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Ah! If it isn't one thing, it's another. You're a troublesome- You are a troublesome boy! Why is it- Is, is that his ass? There! No! You can- You can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There! Yes, yes. That's it. Much better. Now, I... I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press select and I'll be happy to help you. Ah, such a hopeless child. Bitch, your ass is on my head. At least you made me look cool, though, so I appreciate that. <clears throat> Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You are far too big to meet them now. Hey. Who are the Minish? Ah, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them call them Picori, but them's re but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange, how? In this world of humans, only the Forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village, where many now live. But if we enter the village, we have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that! At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No! That stump is a portal used by, the, used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand there on the stump and press R to shrink! To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there, and we'll give it a try. I always thought this was so fucking cool. Even as a even as a little kid, this is so cool. The idea of Link shrinking down in size. Now this is probably a rumor, but I remember hearing something about like there was gonna be potentially the Minish were gonna show up in the in Breath of the Wild and stuff. Who knows? Maybe they might show up in, in Tears of the Kingdom. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me though. Portals that reduce your sight are all around in different si shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal. Stand next to the portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know. The Minish, being Minish side is full of dangers. Mere puddles are normal size, are normal size bottomless swamps to the Minish. And, your, and as your companion, if anything bad happened to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my, my lad. If not for your sake, for then for my own. I don't know. I just always thought the traversal was always cool and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Because it's it's just one way to open up this world and stuff. Like, like if you took away the minish portions of this game, this game would be pretty short. Uh, pun intended. But, like, when you add the minish portions to it, like, it does open up and stuff. And it makes it a very small game very feel large and stuff. Like, tiny areas like this feel like a big-ass area and stuff. Like, we saw... We saw the sprites and stuff. <clears throat> Sorry. Hmm. It appears that we have found the Minish Village. Pickle Pickery. Rippity Rippickle Pickory. Pickle Pickle Rippickle. I gather it's been quite some time since they saw, since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now. Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's still a little different dialect than I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they were say, what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who can understand your language. We should look around. Where are we going? Where are we going, Enzo? Two minutes steering! Oh yeah, I forgot you can like cut these up. Pico Ricky! Pico Tico Poo! Just casting spells. <laughs> Good. I forgot where the guy is. I think it's like a library or something. Library. Pico Ricky! Pico Tipo! I got, he's like the only one who goes, Hi, my name's Bob. How you doing? I got a 401k. <laughs> was it over here? Or I think, I think yeah, it was in here. Mm. I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festeri. I watch the Abbey as well as the Shrine to the North. You, sh you seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? If you could use a jabber nut, it would allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel in the barrel house south of here. Thanks, man. Grab another heart piece. Nice. It's two down. Give me a quick second. I'm gonna type something in my mouth real quick. I, I'm gonna look at that guy. That's why. Oh, Zelda Dungeons, don't I love you? You are literally the best friend of this channel, honestly. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've looked at Zelda Dungeons. Okay. Alright, let's get back to it. The next one is in the uh, is in the temple, so we can we don't need to worry about it just yet. So let's head to the barrel to the south. So here. Oh, and look at that! Conveniently, nobody's blocking it too. So nice. Oh, the jabber nut looks like those fucking bird, those big creatures from fucking Mario Sunshine. Oh, Link! This must be the Jabba Nut. This must be the Jabba Nut Fasari told you about. Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. Yes, that's how you eat it. You stick it in the air. I guess Hyruleans just eat it through photosynthesis. I don't fucking know. 
So you've eaten the job or not? And now you can understand us? The Elder said that humans can no longer see us as they could, once could. It's amazing that you can see us. For a human, they look fucking ugly. Jesus Christ. Ugly looking bastards. I preferred it when they couldn't understand us. Dumb savages. It's revealed that Picori are just really fucking racist to humans. <clears throat> our ancestors, the ancient Minish, used to use used portals between our worlds. It brought them into the human world, and they settled in this forest. Unlike you stupid humans, building castles and stuff, can't become one with nature, can you? There are so many monsters around these woods lately. The elder said that there's e they even started. <clears throat> the elder said that even the shrine to the north is filled with monsters now. God, I thought that dirty human would go away. <laughs> no. If you want to reforge that sword. You'll need the help of the expert smith. Master Malari and his seven apprentices can help you. They live in the mountains, where they can find all the ores they need. I'm sure the elder would tell you about that. Would tell you about him if you asked him. But I don't think a stupid human like you can understand. Your brains are too are too undeveloped. It's in your nature to not to not be smart. Oh, that's cool. He has like a he has like a needle as his, as his cane. Oh, you speak our language. It's been quite some. It's been quite a while since. You know what? I got an idea. I want to try. I want to. I want to. I want to see this. I wanna, I wanna give it a shot, see if it works. <laughs> Just go with me for a sec. Let me drink some water while I wait. You probably heard what I was trying to test, but uh, give me a moment, so... <laughs> It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please do enjoy your stay. I kind of want to hear what this sounds like. <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't fucking. It, damn it! It didn't work. I thought it did. Shit. Oh well. I'll, I'll, I'll just. I'll just move on. I'll keep it. I'll, we'll try again another time. It's all right. Thank you for your offer. But we have. <clears throat> Thank you for your offer. But we have no. But we have no time to relax. My name is Eslo. This child is Link. 
We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reforge the broken Prokori blade. Ah, yes. And you've come here now, hoping to have this blade reforged? Hmm. Well, if that's what you're after, you'll need the four mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline form of the energy of the energies of this world. By infusing the blade with these energies, can a new blade be forged? Here, give me your map. I can mark the I can mark where these elements can be found. The earth element can be found in the shrine north of the f north of Festival. Speak to Fasari, and he will show you the path of the shrine's entrance to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Sure. Uh, give me a sec. Just want to make sure something is working properly. That's all. All right, we're good. Yeah. Kind of sad that my um that the bit didn't work. It's uh, it's all right. I'll, I'll I'll give it another shot another time. All right, so I need you to move. You wish to go to your shrine? Very well, this way. Wild beasts have settled in, have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. Damn it, I mean to do that. What the fuck just happened? This is weird. All right, let's. Uh, we're about 52 minutes in, and we're about to do our first dungeon. No, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the forest temple in a way. Like the whole man, the whole like mansion design. That's why I'm thinking of it. Sorry, I was like checking if I didn't have like anything on that was fucking with my voice. So this would be the deep water shrine, the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about that be monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait. What am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. You look stupid without your hat. Who the fuck would make a Link walk without a hat? This ain't... This ain't what is this? When I can't. Uh, I'm just moving on from the bit. <laughs> just moving on. Bad bit. Ret redacted bit. Oh, all the evils in the world release nothing but slime and fucking slugs. The evilest of creatures! The bane of all that is good slugs. There's a locked door here. Damn it, I didn't mean to. Sorry, Enzo. I didn't mean to shut you up. Jesus fucking Christ, I forgot how loud the fucking attack noise is. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and press R to grab it. Then. The direction, the di- ugh. The D-pad to pull. Or down. I don't know. They were, they were pressing down, but it looked like they were just showing the D-pad. <laughs> eh, give it a, give it a good tug. Eh. 
I forgot you have to hold on to it. There we go. Can I? Yeah, I can move it. Okay, good. Oh yeah, don't I need an item to fight this guy? Wow, look at the size of that barrel! Hmm? Oh, right, right. How silly of me. It's not big, but just small. Yeah, good job, Enzo. You just learned you just learned about si you just learned about size difference. Good job. Oh yeah, I forgot we can't move it just yet. When you could, this shit was so fucking cool to do. We're but we're about to do it. We just need to burn this one over here. I ho I always thought this shit was so cool to watch. You'll see right now. Look, I'm not gonna be that guy, but I'm just saying Link could probably just beat this temple if he was just big. What? Hey, be careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. I know, dude, this shit is so cool. <laughs> I always loved that when I was... I always loved... I always thought it was so cool, like, the idea of the barrel moving, and you had to... It would open up, like, different doorways for you to move and stuff. It's so fucking cool. It, you'll... A little fair warning, folks. This is mainly nostalgia. So you're gonna... Since this mainly was one of the first Zelda games I played, you're gonna hear me be like all like giddy and stuff, so uh, fair warning to those who hate enjoyment. Do we already Uh for some reason I was thinking like, do we already get the boss key? Like already? God damn. That was fucking fast. Right. In the verse one just deep in the woods, beat the man at the woods. I need the ghost. I can't go down this way. I can't go down this way, Douglas. Too expensive. You like my boat? Get on my shroom, Douglas. No, Enzo, I know what to do. Wait, is this one of those Zelda? Okay, no, I was about to say, is this one of those Zelda games where a sword can break a pot? That makes total sense. A sword that's able to kill monsters can't break a glass pot. Fucking glass in a Hyrule is weird. It's very rare. And what? what? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Magic. Yeah, I know your puzzles game. Okay, that was a weird. Okay, so now we go down this way. I need to. Let me check my map. Alright, so I'm gonna have to go up. I'm gonna have to go up. How- I'm just, I just wanna make sure. How many- how many, uh, heart pieces are in here? There's two. Yeah, there's two heart pieces. So, if, if I'm doing this right, we should be able to get our fourth- we should be able to get- to get our fourth heart before we beat this dungeon. Alright, let's do this cool thing again. <laughs> this is fun. It's like it's so fun doing that. I love that. Okay, do I need to open something? Uh, I think I need to like fight that. I need the dungeon item in order to open that door. You got to be in here. You get the good suck. You do the good suck. You need the good suck. Yes, good suck. 
every day. I'm remembering this. There's like an enemy that has like a fat ass. I'm not kidding. It's like, it's like the fucking Twilight shit all over again. No, we just need to, I mean, as well, we just need the dungeon item. I think it'll be fine. And I think this should be the compass. Yep. Ah. Okay. Alright, so one thing to know is that uh, heart pieces aren't identified on the map. Okay. Good to know. I'm gonna take this off real quick, just so I can go down here. Alright. Okay, yeah, you can throw a pot. Oh, it's like that. The f I'm trying to remember, it's like that bunny enemy you fight in uh, Link's Awakening. I think that- okay, now I'm trying to remember, is there blue rupees in- I don't think so. I could be wrong though, I don't- I don't remember- I think it's just only like 1 in 20, that's it. Ah, shit. I'm gonna have to come back here real quick. Why do I keep forgetting to fucking hold it? I don't know why. Okay, not too far. Alright, good. <laughs> God damn it. You know what, at least the game's generous enough and it doesn't like... It doesn't kill me, so... Like, it doesn't hurt me when I, when I drown. It's good to know that drowning doesn't hurt you. <laughs> That's a sense. That's a sentence I just uttered. I can't point. Pull these. Pull these. I can't speak English for some reason. Oh no, whatever the fuck these creatures are. I'm so endangered. Alright, sweet. What are those? Are those birds? Like or is is it like a bird sticking its tongue out or is it like are those the bird's feet? It looks like a bird sticking its tongue out. That's what it looks like to me. That's what I'm gonna go with. We gotta go. Over. I'm gonna go fight the boss. Well, mini boss, I should say. So that way, it makes it way easier to move around in this map. <clears throat> That's a weird sentence I just said.
what is it with Nintendo games and wanting to spank an ass? I don't know. It's like this and that giant monkey. Yes, we learned the power of the good suck. Nice. You then suck. You hope to suck, you press the blow. Alright, sweet. Uh, let's check other dungeon items. Good, we need one more. We've essentially got something that's just a vacuum. I don't know why they say vacuum like that. Vacuum. You, you got the vacuum. Oh, god damn it! I forgot about. There's so many fucking collectibles in this game. There's the golden, there's mystery shells, shells, and there's also the fucking uh, what is it, the magic crest. Both fucking suck, and I gotta do both of them if I want to get all the heart pieces. Why am I talking? Why am I doing a weird accent? I don't know. Am I having a stroke? What's wrong with me? Actually, before I go in there, I want to go over here. Over this is fuck, fuck. Ah! and you can reverse it too. That's what makes it. There we go. And I love that it doesn't move even when you go outside. So let me get our fourth heart. I don't know how many of these you actually need. Like how many there are? I think it's 20. I think I think so, it's 20. Alright, nice. Okay, so then we got these two options, and then we got the chest we gotta go through too. to know that we made it the boss room is like right there i mean it's not a big dungeon it's only like three floors at most yeah and then you can just access it by like using the gust all right so let, let's get back to let's get back to the dungeon well i mean of course we're in the i don't, I don't know what i'm saying man it's like, it's it's only 10 o'clock, but it's like my mind is just already fucking just done. Hmm. Nice. Grab the one that's over here. All right, more. All right, good. Uh, there's like one up here. Let me go get it, and then we'll head down the stairs. What is it that we need to get? Was over. Uh, 
Oh, there it is. Nice. Grab that. Good. Nice. Uh, okay, let me go to the one out here, and then we'll go move downstairs. I think it's the the only way to drop is by the barrel, huh? No, I'm just stupid. There's this. There's literally a staircase right there. Okay. All right, cool. That should make forty. So yeah, forty. Let me check. Uh, 50. Jesus Christ, I can't count. I can't read, I can't count, I can't do anything. Damn! I gotta go back to 5th grade. Okay, speaking of going back to 5th... I've been having, like, these weird fucking reoccurring dreams recently where fucking... I don't know why, it's like... I keep... Okay, I've been out of 5th grade for, like, almost 12 years now. I hate that I have to... Why? I was 11 in fifth grade. Okay, I'm 20. I'm 22 right now. 11 years. It's been 11 years. So, ah, uh, happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. My birthday's not for like another couple of days. Oh shit! There are blue rupees. What the fuck? Oh, I just realized why. I realized what I have to do. I have to drop something down here. But as I was saying, I've been having this like weird fucking recurring dream recently where I would just wake up in fucking... In fifth grade? And the weirdest thing is, I would always start an argument with my exact- Like, it's everybody is there that I went to fifth grade with, but we're all fucking adults for some reason. I, I, like, and it always ends with me, like, getting thrown out of the classroom. Every fucking- I don't know, like- Like, I'm not a- Like, I study psychology from time to time, but it's like- No! What? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going any much further. Father. I don't know, it's like... It's weird to explain. It's like... The funny thing is, when I was in fifth grade, I, w I never, like, started fights or anything. Like, I was I was a good kid. I, 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 I like, got good grades. I, listened, I paid attention. I was a very friendly person. I, I mean, I still sort of am to this day, but... I guess not a social. I don't, I don't know. This isn't really a fucking. This is really isn't a therapy session for me, so I'm not gonna go too into it. But I I don't know. It's like it just always ends with me like getting in a fight or something. Like not a fist fight, but like an argument, and I'm getting like like arguing with the teacher, and I'm always getting sent out afterwards. And it's always out of my own. It's always out of my own choice too. It's I don't know, and I've been wondering. Like, and it'll be, like, at different moments of fifth, of fifth grade. It's like, by fifth grade, and we took, a we took like, a, a, like, kind of a camping trip and something. Like, I remember that, too. And just now, it's just, as the, like, I'll give it, I'll give the reason why it's, like, everybody's in the Like, for some reason, everybody just had to go back to, like, fifth grade for some reason. And we just have to do it again, you know? I don't know. It it's, does sound like me just rambling, but like that's legit. Just what I've been having recently, and I've been trying to figure out like why. I've been... It could just be a random dream, honestly. And I'm tripping about fucking nothing, which chances are that's probably what it is. But I don't know. It's it's fucking weird. I'll, I always have those like weird school dreams where it's like I wake up and it's like suddenly I have to go back to school because I like because my records got all fucked up or something. It's. It's been happening a lot, and I've been wondering, like, why the fuck I've been having that kind of dream. It's like, it happened with, it happened, uh, like, a couple months ago with high school, middle school. 
even call even like a couple my even junior college I had a couple times when I went to community. It's like I don't fucking know, man. It's it's so weird. Like, is it me? Is it like a? Is it my, is my conscious like? Is it my mind trying to like subconsciously tell me like, hey, you gotta fucking remember this shit? I don't fucking know, man. I also have fucking dreams where I'll just get in a fist fight with a bear. So I mean, before like, we start saying like, oh, these dreams have meaning. I had fist fights with animals. So what does that mean? <laughs> I'm gonna someday fight an animal. I hope, cause I'm gonna kill that bear. I'm gonna suplex that bitch. God, you know how fucking cool I would. You know how much. You know how cool I would be if I fucking. If I fucking fought a bear and suplexed it. Dude, I'd be the coolest fucking Twitch streamer ever. Fuck, oh, you donated to charity. You helped plant trees. No, fucking Lupin Kai fought a bear and won. A full grown grizzly bear. That'd be fucking awesome. It's a lot of... So basically what I'm saying is like... A lot of it is me either going back to school and or... Me fighting animals, so... Am I forgetting things and I want to beat the shit out of animals? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't gone to therapy, but... <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna tell... They're gonna probably just fucking... They're gonna throw me in a fucking clinic or some shit. They're like, this guy's crazy. That's not even me, like, trying to do a joke or anything. It's like, he's crazy. I'm still quirky. I'm in thing. Like, no. This dude has a bit. See, an average enemy becomes, becomes our boss. Like, how fucking easy would it be if we were just bigger? I want to be big boy. Why you not let me be big boy? I want to be big boy. At least big boy fight two two. Now let's fight this asshole. Let's try to press R. Give him good suck. Yes, give him good suck. Good. I always found that. I always found that fucking face they make is so. Choo Choo's face is so funny. Can't, really? Okay, I'm gonna admit something. I keep. You'll see me roll into the guy. The reason why is because I keep. For some reason, I'm thinking R, the fucking button, the gust, the jar of gust is on R. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's weird. Gosh, the fuck out of it. Give it good suck. Yes. Fucking fall already, damn. All right. Please fall. Come on. Do it. Do it. There we go. Yeah. Man dies with a smile on his face. My mother couldn't stand me sad. So I got a smile in my face. Let's put a smile. Because every choo-choo in my mind canonically just sounds like Heath Ledger's Joker. And the red ones sound like Melman, brother of the Joker. 
I don't know if people know that. I feel I feel like people probably know what Melman, brother of the Joker, is. I'm definitely not searching up Melman, brother of the Joker. <laughs> nah. Sorry, Melvin. Not Melman. That's the that's the giraffe from fucking from ten hour loop. What the. Melvin, Melvin. <laughs> Melvin, brother of the Joker. Melvin, Melvin, brother of the Joker. Melvin, Melvin. Brother of the Joker. I'm cool. Hello, hi, I am Melvin, the brother of the Joker. I'm sure a lot of you haven't heard of me, but uh, I am the brother of, yes, the. I think that's like as much as we can show before fucking uh, Twitch decides to delete me of this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that right there. <laughs> I do a voice and it is f funny. You know, I'll give I'll give uh, Doug this. He he had the balls to like upload. He uploaded that and kept it on. So I respect him for that. We don't talk about the wall review though. We don't, we don't talk about that. Why were there so many fucking furry creatures with mother? That is such a weird video. Fucking don't. I mean, I, I, if, I'm pretty sure a majority of people who watch Nostalgia Critic have seen that fucking video. It's an old video, I will admit. It's like a couple years old now. But God, is there's like a part where like like fucking all these like furry creatures show up and stuff. Like if you're into that shit, that's fine. I don't, I don't think less of you. I'm not into that shit, but it's like God damn, that shit is weird. <laughs> all right. Anyways, let's, let's stop worrying about fucking the wall review. <laughs> The power of the earth, the power of the earth is the source of all living things. The earth element is embodied with that power. Oh, my ears are bleeding. Oh my god. Uh, oh god, that is I'm going to go fucking deaf from this shit. Ah. We got the Earth Element. You must go to the Elder at once. <laughs> yeah, it was tinnitus. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna lower this. Jesus fucking... I, I always forget how fucking loud the Minish the Game Boy is. It's this... So, like, look, I love the Game Boy. It's literally like one of my first consoles. Like, it's probably the first console I ever think I ever owned when it comes to Nintendo. But holy shit, is the fucking uh, is the sound card on this thing? <laughs> shit. So, you found the Earth element. I forgot this guy's voice, so he's just gonna. He's just gonna... Oh, you know who it should be? Fucking uh, Dark Edge. The uh... call. Oh, you found. Come on. Okay. How are you? I can't do fucking Doctor Light. What? What happened? Doctor Why we you? So you see, so you have found the Earth element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for, for you, for one so young. If your conviction is hold strong, hold strong, your head, head to Mount Cornell. There you will. There will you will find the man named Malari. All among the among all the menace, there is no one who there was no one more cap more able to repair your sword, Mega Man. You must defeat Doctor Wily. <laughs> if you ask him, I am certain he will reforge your blade, your broken McCoy blade. I shall send word to him in advance. How do you do that? What are you, what are you fucking texting before you have iPhones? 
Come with Chase Lee. You are brave, but the world the, but there are many evils now in the world. Many slugs. Lots of slugs. The McCoys hate the slugs. Go forth, Mega Man. Go defeat Dr. Wily. I really love that. I, I really do love that. That Dr. Light. Voice, it's my favorite. I think it's X4 that does it. on Earth. I don't know where this energy came from, but they're not let it fall into Dr. Wowie's hands. <laughs> Alright, well, I, I was looking up the I was looking up the Mega Man 8 thing. <laughs> I re who, whose idea was it to put fucking voice acting in Mega Man 8? God, like a lot of that voice acting is so fucking terrible. Hey man, you're about to play Dr. Wily. And they give like Mega Man this like squeaky ass fucking voice. You know it's not as bad as you know it's not as bad as zero screaming. Nothing will ever be nothing will ever be the fucking will ever be zero screaming. No, this isn't happening. What am I fighting for? I can't do it properly. It's like fucking almost like it's like almost eleven o'clock at night. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna scream like fucking zero. But you know who is? Clothes and a mystical hot hat. Wow, fucking. Wow, fucking hat. Break out an accent, why don't we? Sure. Sure, would you by chance be Link, the one who the one who found the Earth element? Jesus Christ, gossip breaks out fast enough, Cory. Like, you guys got Twitter, huh? Fucking the Cory invented Twitter, I knew it. It wasn't a bird, no, it was a fucking Cory on the logo. Surely you are! I have heard so many tales, there's like two things to tell me. What the fuck did they tell you? As this guy named Link, he showed up one day, nobody knew what the fuck he was saying, so we... So he ate a nut, and we sent him inside the woods, and he went to go fight this big ass thing that he had to suck. And then attack it with a sword. Pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. Yeah, he, he has a sword that, he has like a hat that talks for some reason, nobody knows why he does that. He just does. I mean, it's better than a fucking sword telling you, like, hey, your battery's not depleted or anything. We'd probably prefer that. Or a fucking fairy that won't shut the fuck up. I've heard so many tales about you. I'm Balari, researcher of antiquities. I am also, well, a bit of an in inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back in town due to the all the debris. Yeah, I have something that might come in handy. He, gives us bomb. he does give us bombs! <laughs> I was kidding. Okay, I will admit, it's been some time since I played this. I didn't think we got bombs so fucking early. Holy sh I legit thought that was like a dungeon item for the second for the second dungeon. That's usually the case. And or like after the dungeon too. But no, it's kinda cool we get in the kinda cool we get in after the first dungeon. Not bad. Let's do some magic. Big. Look, I'm just saying. Link could just hop the log, go over to the Minish, the Minish shrine, and start beat the, beating the shit out of <laughs> a lot of the enemies in there. He would have been done in like two minutes. Less than that, probably. Like a couple seconds, Link's would be in and out. Fucking grab the element, beat the shit out of anything that's in there. Whoa! It blew up! Hey, kid! Look at where the stone marker used to be! That's some strange symbol on the ground! Yes, of course! Why, this must be... Well, I haven't... 
buggiest, to be honest. Hmm. Thanks, El Thanks, Enzo. I really appreciate it. Thank you for that. Thank you for that lore drop. I'm gonna give me a sec real quick because holy shit, I forgot I left the audio really loud, so now it just sounds like the game audio is fucking blasting. Apologies about that, folks. I wanna hear how that sounds. Let me hear. Yeah, it's loud. Yeah, it's not too bad, honestly. Alright, let's get back to it. I, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> Alright, uh, where are we heading? Okay, so we're going up there. I don't think we get the option. We just, we just have to go to the north, huh? It's kind of cool that... What was it? Link Between Worlds, they kind of added that whole, like, kind of pseudo-open-worldness where you get to choose which of the dungeons you want to go to first. I mean, you can make the argument unless if you have an, if you have a randomizer, you get that choice too, but, like, I'm mostly saying, like, if, like, in a, we'll say vanilla Zelda, where it's just, it's way fucking, how the fuck do I get out of here? I think I just go to the right, yeah. Alright, I just want to check over here. Are we good? Yeah. Can you just fall down, fall down the hole. Alright, let me uh, let me go let me go small again. Yeah, do we go? Go through here. Yeah, do we go go through the village. You know, it would be kind of cool. To, I don't know though. I feel like it would stink to live in a plant. I like guess one thing about when it comes to me living in a house, my house has to smell good because if it fucking smells like shit, I don't want to live in it. I don't want to live in a. I mean, I would probably live in a tree, like like dead ass if I was a magical creature. I feel like a tree would be kind of cool because it would always smell like pine tree. Like if you pick a pine tree, it always smells like fucking pine in there. And maybe sap. I don't know. Probably not a maple because I feel like it would, it would smell like maple syrup all the fucking day. You get bugs and shit, nobody wants that. I feel like, yeah, if I was like a gnome or something, I would live in a... I would live in a tree. It'd be kind of cool. Like the fucking Keebler elves or some shit. <laughs> and start a race war with... And start a race war with like the no the elves or some shit. Gang... <laughs> I feel like, though, gnomes and elves wouldn't be at it. That's more of a dwarf thing. I don't, I don't know why I'm talking like I know this shit for a fact that I don't. Like, I've seen Lord of the Rings a couple times. That doesn't, mean we, that doesn't make me a fucking expert on races. <laughs> oh, sweet. Maybe I would start a gang. Maybe I would start a race. <laughs> I can't finish that sentence without breaking out in laughter. Because this is a stupid sentence. But it's funny to me. It's probably not funny to you, but it's funny to me. What are we doing on time, by the way? It's, uh. Uh, I'm gonna do some side stuff before we uh, move on. I don't think I'm gonna do anything after this. I think I'm just gonna, after this game, we're probably gonna stop for the night. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Alright, so let me open up that heart piece guide real quick, just I want to check something. Okay, so we got all the ones in the, sh the shrine. There is- Oh, fuck. Fucking kinstones. Kinstones make me want to commit some puku.
out of this really stupid thing. Uh, <laughs> so I had to lend my friend, um, so my fr I had to lend my friend my car for the week, and I didn't have to do a lot this, this week, so I mainly just took the bus for places. And I swear to fucking god, I re anytime I get on the bus, I always have weird experiences, like, it's not like, oh, poor people, like, the poor, the poor transportation is such a, is such a wonder, like, I'm not, I'm not rich, I'm not. But, that's a weird, that's a weird thing to say. I ride the bus, but I'm not rich. Anyways, as I was saying, before I start sounding like a fucking dumbass. Eh, too late. Uh, I, re I was on the bus uh, a couple days ago, and I overheard this weird conversation between these two older men. Um, and it was between this fat bearded guy and um, who I'm assuming was Santa Claus, and <laughs> and this tiny man who was probably one of his elves or something. He was not tiny; he was like probably like five six or something. But he's tiny compared to me. That's a child compared to me. I'm kidding. Um, but they were talking, and they were talking about Japanese people. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I just hear this weird. Fr I just hear one of them just straight up just go, "Man, the Japanese have a good way. Of, have a really cool way of describing suicide." <laughs> and I stopped. I stopped listening after that. I probably, I probably didn't want to hear the whole entire conversation. But the reason why I was able to hear it, I had my headphones in, and like I stopped midway through a song to check on, like. Uh, to like pick a new song and I just overhear that I just hear that out of nowhere and it just surprised the fuck out of me. It's not really something you expect to hear on the LA Metro. You know what, it's not I've heard cra I've heard like man Hitler Hitler was like a meth head or something like that. I've heard that. I've heard Hitler was it was a lot of Hitler stuff. Mainly said by homeless people. I think, like, the weirdest- I've, I've said this one before, but I remember there was this one time where I was like, what? This is before I, I, I bought my car and stuff, but, um... I think, yeah, this is before I had my license. I was taking a- I was- I was, uh, taking the bus to school and stuff, and... Uh, fucking the whole fucking time. Um, th there's this dude in front of me, like, sitting next to me, and I sh He looked like- Like, uh... What the heck? the fuck, uh, the hell's the guy's name? Uh, you guys know the guy from, uh, you know Eric from Pretty Much It? <laughs> that guy. It wasn't him, of course, but the guy looked like him. <laughs> this, um, dude, um, just sitting in front of me, and this guy, um, he kept whistling, but, what do you, actually, let, let me describe it, because it just sounds like I'm just describing it. Some dude whistling who just happened to look like fucking Eric from, from pretty much it, and it's a commentary show, commentary, fucking YouTube channel I like to watch. Um, where uh, this guy, I swear to God, kept like doing this weird smile at me the whole fucking time, and I was sitting here behind him. I'm not doing anything. I don't know if I'm making this guy nervous or something. I'm I'm trying not to be. I I I, I will admit. I do have that intimidating kind of aura. It's a weird thing to say. I give that intimate. I give off kind of sometimes an intimidating presence to those who don't know me. I apologize about that sometimes. But I swear to God, this dude kept smiling at me in a very creepy smile. And the dude was the dude was whistling the farmer and the hen. And the worst. The worst part is he kept like it was open mouth grinning like weird like he was giving me these weird eyes. And this dude keeps whistling and whistling and whist he's not li like he it's like this all he's staring at me and all I'm just hearing is And he kept doing this, he, he he was like reaching in his pocket a lot and doing this a lot to me. And he was mo he was looking at me the whole time while he was fucking doing this, like... And when I say looking, I'm not meaning like glancing, like he's looking right at me. 
Like his head is half tilt, and the whole. T what I I love the fact that I turned my head too to say it. <laughs> his head is half. His head is is facing. He's not facing the window. He's facing the aisle, and his eyes are facing me the whole fucking time. And he's like he's almost looking at me the whole fucking time. And this dude just and the more he like keeps turning, the louder he gets. I'm like, am I gonna get fucking killed? Or? Like the whole time I'm thinking this, like, am I gonna get fucking killed? Or? Like this guy was smaller than me. Some can say like, oh, you can defend your. Like, no, I don't know if he has a gun or something. He probably did, but I don't know. It was a weird experience. And the moment like one of my friends get on the bus, so they can't. I I keep motioning them like, hey, bro, sit with me. Like, I don't want to like this guy. Like. Basically me inviting them if this guy's gonna shoot me, they're gonna shoot my friend. I'm kidding. I would never do that to my friend. But um Yeah, no, it, it's it was weird and fucking the moment my friend sat next to me, he stopped looking at me. He just stopped the whole everything just stopped. And when I asked my friend when I was telling my friend he was like, Yeah, the moment like I sat down, his smile dropped. Like he was mad. I'm like, and I'm always, I always, it, this is like, it's been like, almost like four years since this happened, and I always wonder like, what the fuck he was he gonna do if I didn't, if like my friend didn't sit down? I like it always, cons it like it always scared me to think about it and stuff. Like, I'm sure he was like probably gonna show me something, my mortality, my mortality ending or something. I don't fucking know. But it was just so fucking weird, man. I was I, w I was more uncomfortable than I was scared, if I'm being honest. And it's not to say like, oh no, I, I can fucking poke him. I can barely. Like I can. I I took a little bit of boxing when I was younger. I can defend myself for like 15 seconds, but that's it. <laughs> After that, I'm done. There's a reason why I try to be as friendly as possible to people. Because if I can't fight you, I'm gonna try to be your friend. That's really I'll buy you a drink or something. That's it. You could say me I'm a bitch or something. Maybe, but at least I'm probably gonna live longer than you. <laughs> I'm joking. But I, no, it's, it's just always weird to think about like I'm sure there's gonna be other experiences where it's just gonna be weird, but I don't know. It's, it was just an eerie experience. Maybe it actually was Eric from pretty much, and he was like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna collab and stuff? I know it's four years, I know it's three years before you actually start doing stuff on the internet, but you wanna work with me? If this ever gets out to that guy, don't worry. No, I don't have any resentment towards you, no, because that probably wasn't even you. It's just a guy who happened to look like you. Or maybe it's your evil. Tw maybe the guy has an evil twin out there who's." Who, who murders people by singing the farmer and the doe? Is that what that's called? The f what the fuck is that creepy ass song called? Is it the hen or the doe? I don't even want to go down the side. I, just went, I, I literally looked up the song I was trying to figure out, and it was a. I went down a content farm. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to look at content farm. I'm good, man. Nobody needs to see fucking content farm. If you don't know what content farm is, it's the shit you would put on for your kid to shut them the fuck up. It's the shit you put on a fucking toddler to shut them the fuck up. By the way, don't show don't show your kids that. That shit makes them fucking retarded. <laughs> I only use the word retarded as a joke. I do not mean to offend anybody. That is not me being ableist. Maybe stupid, but not ableist. Come one, come all! See how many kinstone pieces you collected. You never know what fusing kinstones will do! 
but it's sure to be good. Come up and get your get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone piece. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna be real. I'm probably gonna do a lot of this off camera because holy shit, is this annoying? And, and the children is that the booger kid from fucking when? Oh, gross. Yeah, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, we, we got it. Aside from the fucking... Yeah, yeah, I caught it, thank you. I like to think, like, Link swung a sword, he actually cleaved that guy's head off. Yo, is it mirrored? Does that guy look like a Bakori? Like, I don't know why, he looks like a Bakori. This is, okay, I'm gonna be real, really honest. This is the part that always pissed me off. Is because anytime you would try to fuse a kinstone and you don't have the part, dude, it's like you gotta fucking go around the whole map looking for them, and a lot of them are, and a lot of them are like randomized, so you never know what the fuck you're gonna get. Perfect fit, which means we're both due for a little happiness. See you. See ya. But thank you for getting rid, getting rid of the booger kid. I don't want to be near the booger kid. He has AIDS. Oh, gross. Oh, is this the chicken lady? Oh no, this is horrible. My cuckoo's got an out. Can you catch them for me? Yeah, why not? Try to catch two of them within 20, 15, 25 seconds. Isn't there like a part where you gotta get like 20 of these motherfuckers and it's like hard as fuck? Like... <sighs> they can just do that? Thanks, your reward. Here's your reward. Sweet. I got shells. You got 20 rupees. Doesn't it feel good to help others? It wasn't 20 rupees. That was a fucking. Is this bitch stupid? They give me a fucking seashell and she's like, this is 20 bucks. Oh, you're crazy, huh? This lady thinks $20 is a seashell. This lady thinks a seashell, seashell is $20. She's that crazy. I love lots of fruits. I got... Oh, oh, fresh fruits. Fruits, fresh fruits. I like this guy. This guy's cool. Howdy, howdy. I'm gonna get your fresh veggies. Run by Ernie and Minnie. We're, the, we're fr fresher than fresh, folks. They're good for you, too. Doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples, I say. Would you ask for me? Hey, you got free shit? Hey, you got free shit? Can I, can I both? The idea, the concept of food in a zone. Did I just bite into bread and bit out a fucking kinstone? I did. It happened again. What kind of pie is this? What kind of pie is this? That's bullshit. Don't bow at me. Fuck you. I need money now. Oh, it's the fucking... It's that dude from the... I forgot. Let me 
gonna go up here. You know, what I'm wondering is, what, it, what happens if Sony accidentally sits on that? That's right! Even some human objects can be tele can be portals to the Minish world. Those Minish may not look like much, but they're quite crafty. Here's what I'm gonna do. It's getting a little late, so I think I'm gonna stop here. Yeah, I think four hours is a good enough time. Is a good enough stream. So we'll be back tomorrow. To uh, we're gonna start. A, I think we're gonna start around. Uh, <clears throat> I think we'll start around. Uh, let's say, let's say eight o'clock, and then we'll go to like uh, well, probably one. Um, so to those, by the way, I should say this, by the way, to those who are wondering about the Breath of the Wild series, that's going to be coming out, I want to say after next week, uh, mainly because my birthday is coming up and I am going to do a birthday stream, but also I'm going to be celebrate. I may do my birthday stream a little early so that we're going to, you're probably going to see it a birthday stream early when in because when in reality, I'm going to be spending it with my family. Um. This weekend, I'm mainly this. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Um, so there's gonna be streams up till Friday. There's gonna be streams up till I guess tomorrow. This Friday, I'm gonna be a little bit. I think I'm gonna do a Friday stream, but a little early. So I'm gonna probably. St so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start tomorrow at eight. Uh, I'm gonna start Friday stream at around four p.m. I will go make probably three actually. Let's do three. I'll see though. Friday's a little weird if I'm being honest. Um, uh, tomorrow we're gonna be doing High on Life and uh, Portal, so be ready for that. We got a whole bunch of new games coming up for to this this month. Hopefully we can try to beat them all by the end of this month. That way, if in February we don't have to worry about them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching tonight's stream. It's great to be back. My plan for this year for this year is I want to at least try to heat heat I want to try to hit uh, 500 500 followers by the end of the next by the end of this year so if we can do that that's gonna be amazing uh, I'm gonna be also st uh, as you can see in the chat also I'm doing chair I'm gonna be doing charities all year round now because I thought it was kind of fun and it's if it's nice to give it's nice to give out and stuff because there are those who are generous that want to help and it goes to a good need we're get, for this year we're going to be donating uh i want the goal for this year is 500 dollars for saint jude's children's research hospital if you guys want to donate you're more than welcome to but don't worry you're not forced to uh it's going to be up all year round so there's no like due date or anything for it uh, to those wondering about the holiday one it's going to come back in december so don't worry about that I'm gonna talk about more of the. I'm gonna talk about more of the plans for this month and tomorrow. Um, I might. I'll say this though. I might start doing some I not IRL stuff. Fuck, I don't want to get swatted. But I might uh, at one point or another may start showing my face on camera. It's my identity is not like a secret or anything. Like if you see, there's like pictures of me on actual this channel so if you want to see them but i'm gonna try to be i want to try to expand and build a community here because i will admit i've been kind of lax last year and i want to actually try to grow i i do want i i don't want this i do want to like be proud of this and stuff and like work towards it and i can't just say i can't just be proud of it but having everybody else do it like of course i gotta put the effort in all right folks um but other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to open up with High on Life, and then afterwards we'll do some portal. Okay?
maybe some more minish cap right after that who knows till then take care everybody and have a good night